what's so funny, TSM? I know you heard about Tay Eats, Tay Eats, Tay Eats. The food was that when you were around Tay Eats, Tay Eats, Tay Eats. I know you heard about Tay Eats, Tay Eats, Tay Eats. The food was that when you were around Tay Eats, Tay Eats, Tay Eats. Hey y'all, welcome back to Tay Eats. If this is your first time, please like, subscribe, and come on back and see your girl. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all already know I love you. So today, you guys, we finally gonna try that pink sauce. We finally gonna try that pink sauce. So, okay, so, um, this is a deal. I made it myself. Um, we Chef P is the one that came out with this sauce. Let me just say that her name is Chef P. And so she has not given the ingredients, but she's giving a few of the ingredients. So people are just guessing what it tastes like. So I added some things and we are gonna try them out, guys. So take a piece of chicken. I cook the chicken too, y'all. And let's try it. Now I did, I did taste it, y'all, because I wanted to see if I needed to add something extra or something like that, but I have not tasted with chicken. So this will be the first time of me tasting with chicken. Okay. I'm just dunking it in here. <laughs> okay. I like that. That's good, y'all. That's good. So, I'm going to tell y'all, like, I guess I'll tell y'all, like, a little backstory of her situation because the last one of the videos I told y'all that I was going to make it, I didn't know yet if I was going to make it or not. I was gonna let y'all know or whatever, but I really didn't say, like I said, they were hating on her and stuff like that. I never really told y'all the story. So now I'll just go ahead and tell y'all the story. So she's basically a chef and she ended up coming out with this sauce. It caused a lot of controversy because of the simple fact that maybe it wasn't rumors, maybe it was actually true that people were receiving their product, they were receiving it hot. Um the ingredients on the back was misspelled incorrectly. It was a lot of things wrong with the product that people were. Okay, sorry, I was having issues with my phone. Now, granted, some of the people who, who bought the sauce, um, I mean, some of the people who were complaining probably didn't even buy the sauce. You know what I mean? They were on TikTok just complaining. So, so it caused a lot of 
fire about her product, which good publicity, bad publicity, it's all the same. It's publicity. And I had seen, I, excuse me, I had seen her product a while ago, but I didn't, I don't know why I should have bought it before. Well, I don't know because what, ain't no telling what kind of product I would have got, but I seen it and I just kept waiting. I just kept looking at it, looking at it. Cause I was like, this would be so cool to do a video on. Waited to the last minute. And basically, you know, they put a hold, well, she put a hold on her product. I don't know because everybody was talking about it just so much, so much that, you know, um, that um, she pulled it from the shelf. She pulled it from the shelf and I was supposed to get the sauce, but then she emailed all the customers She emailed all the customers letting us know that we weren't gonna get the sauce and that it was gonna take a while and she refunded our money and um, basically stating that we would get like, we were, we were the first group of people to order so we would get like a 30% discount or something, some type of discount. The sauce is good to me, y'all. So I'll tell y'all what I put in it. I put some dragon fruit, um, some frozen dragon fruit. Um, what do you call those? Like bite-sized pieces. Hold on, I'll show y'all what I put. Just in case y'all wanna do it, I put the dragon fruit pieces. I put these in here at the, uh, at the store. You can find them near the fruit section. I put oil. It says uh, sunflower seed oil, but I didn't, all I had was um, grapeseed oil and I just used grapeseed oil. That's all I did, use grapeseed oil. Mm. Um. So I put, I put this, I put olive oil, vinegar, honey, mayo, some chili pepper flakes, water. Did I say vinegar? And salt. And garlic, and garlic. So mine is like, how do I explain the, the taste of it? Oh, and I also put some ranch seasoning in there because on her on her bottle it says spices. We don't know what spices, but a lot of people saying it tastes like ranch and stuff like that. So I don't know. So, what it tastes like, I don't know how to explain it. Because I did put the ranch in there, it kinda tastes like ranch, but it don't taste like ranch. It has, it has the ranch spices, but it don't taste like ranch completely. It doesn't taste like you buy a bottle of ranch and then you just, no. And then I put like a lot of garlic in here. I might've put too much, but it's good to me with the garlic. 
because she, because if you look when she made it, she had like a whole bunch of garlic in there. Um, I want to say this though, that when she does get it right and she get it together, I will support her and order from her, you know, because she just made a, she made a, I wouldn't even say a simple mistake. It was just, she was very creative and came out with a sauce that nobody had thought about, you know, and, and basically she didn't know how to handle probably uh, the customers. Like she probably had a load of work she had to do and just didn't know how to handle it. That was, I'm sure that was her first time ever being hit, ever being hit like that. And just, she probably had no employee at the time. She was doing this in her house. And you know, she just did the best that she could. But the fact that now she got people behind her that's gonna help her with this sauce is incredible. And we out here breaking generational, cur generational curses and I'm happy for it. I'm excited. I'm always for black owned. I'm just going to be honest. I love, I bu obviously I buy from everybody, you know, everybody else, but I love black owned, you know, and very creative idea. Like I tell my son, don't worry about how to execute the plan. Just come up with an idea because you'll find the people that can be able to execute. And this is just like what she did. She came up with an idea and now she has the people that's gonna be able to execute this sauce for her, which is gonna, which is gonna create a, a generational wealth for her, which is amazing, freaking amazing, you know? Black girl magic. So, I'm rooting for Chef P. If y'all are interested, y'all try the sauce. I think the sauce is amazing. I mean, I don't know if I made it exactly how, I never tasted the sauce, so I don't know, but the way that I made it, it's good. And I definitely would be putting it on my chicken and things like that. It's good, y'all, it's good. I like it. So, um, I guess that's it, you guys. I'm going to let you go. My son is going to eat the rest of this chicken. <laughs> um, I could eat another piece, though. But I guess I'm going to just end this here, and I will see you guys later. Peace.